G'day guys, welcome to another episode of the True Footy AFL Evolution career with the West Coast Eagles, this time at the Gabba against the struggling Brisbane Lions, you would say, pegged as a pre-season uh, premiership contender for sure. They're languishing in 12th spot, they've dropped their last five from what I can see. They're playing, you know, not a great best 22 I can see. It looks like they might have a few injuries, but for us, Andrew Gaff returns to the side. For Xavier O'Neill, looks like Tom Barras is one week away. Petrocelli seven weeks away. Shuey, of course, still out for the season as the Eagles walk out with their not great yellow clash jumper. I don't hate it, but it's not bad for a clash, I guess. I like the white shorts combo, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, it's just the second time we've worn it this season, I think. Excluding the preseason, we might have worn it against Frio in the preseason, I think. Um, can't remember, actually. But... Bringing it out today for the Brisbane Lions. Lewis Jetta coming off his best performance of the season, earning three votes last week. Liam Duggan also had one of his best games with like 12 or 13 possessions from the back line and one goal too. It's a big clash today. The Eagles are actually effectively two games in front with in first spot. Um, but obviously, anything you didn't do to cement that top two spot, I guess with Collingwood and Hawthorne in particular right behind us, any loss here will tighten that right back up. And finishing outside the top two historically is very tough for Eagles teams that want to win the flag. So every game from here counts with finals just around the corner. The contest. He has to hold on to those. Oh. Well collected. Finding the loose ball. Oh, who is that? Jared Cameron with the burst of speed. He steadies. That ball curled around. There must be a bit of a breeze. Great kick from Jared Cameron. The Eagles get the first goal. With the ball now. He just can't get out of the action. Controlled well off the bounce. Good defence there from Tim Kelly. He finds himself in that intercepting role for some reason. But the Lions, finally, it's been a long quarter before they get their first goal. We're at one goal each. 28. Oh, that handball is probably one of the best handballs of the season. It freed Brisbane up. They've nailed the goal. All of a sudden, it's two goals to one. Looks to move it by foot. McCluggage clicking the track down the footy. Oh, the ball spills very conveniently for the Brisbane Lions player. They're suddenly three goals to one, and it is carnage in the opening term, in the last five minutes anyway. And that is quarter time. It's been a tough quarter. Pretty even contest for most of it until Brisbane just sort of got in the end of a bit of good play. They really opened up the play with some of their devastating handballs that have absolutely, there's no way to defend them. They've been too good so far. Let's see if we can match them in the second term. Nat Nui has some space. He's on the run. He's missed. Takes on the space. Finds a way around oh, yes. The Good play there from Nat Nui. Really opened up the lines. The Eagles have their first set shot for the game, I believe. He's been in great form lately. That has navigated its way through from a very tough breeze. JK is the man. Oh, JK finds his opponent napping for a moment there. Oh, it's not JK at all. <laughs> I must be blind. Redden, for whatever reason, is one out with the defender who didn't read that off the boot. He's done well, although the kick probably leaves a bit to be desired. It is a shank at a half. Tell you what, that breeze and the shank. Jetta with some pace. Can he put this through? The Eagles need it. By golly, they did. And it's hit the post. Oh, he's had his head ripped off. Jack Redden, for whatever reason, is finding himself forward of the centre a lot. He should put this through. The Eagles are in front. Oh, it's an average kick. To his teammate there from Dom Shee, but Redden 
might get a chance here. He does. The Eagles have been woeful in front of goal. It's a really entertaining game of football. Virtual with the intercept. Archie kicks hurriedly. He gives it a run. Oh, off the ground. It's missed the Brisbane player off the deck. Tim Kelly gets the goal. The Eagles starting to flex a bit of muscle here. They've worked hard and they've missed a lot of shots. But Tim Kelly, with a bit of quick thinking, outwits the Brisbane defender who really should have got a boot to that. That is half time in a bruising encounter between these two sides. Neither side wanting to give an inch. It's the Eagles that outworked Brisbane. They haven't been able to recapture that magic of the last few minutes of that first term, but the Eagles were dominant, uh, kicking, you know, what was it? I don't even know. Three goals, four in that quarter to nothing. Really? Yo, goes for a run. Oh, betrayed by, I think, a Brisbane player ran off the bench there. That was very stiff. Oh, and to top it off, McCluggage has taken the grab. That was a superb effort. Feel a little bit of unlucky there. It's going to line up for what I think is his second goal. Oh, Cam Rayner takes what was a very good mark. Off a fairly average kick, but again, we are navigating a very, very tough breeze here at the Gabba. He's put it through. Brisbane are four straight. We're back to four points. Oh, that is a good kick from Cameron. He's found Redden. He's going to be right on the edge of his range. He might have to torpedo this. Considering the ridiculous breeze, I'm going to have to put it out here. Tell you what, couldn't ask for much more than that from Jack Redden. I don't think it's even going to make it. It's a behind. And it's a behind. Decides to go to the middle. Oh, that is an inexplicable kick. And that is inexplicable defending. Somehow, the Eagles have the chance to go up to 10 points. He slams it towards goal. Marks now and can send it back. Looks to move it by foot. Oh, Elliot Yo, the kicks, the captain's goal. The Eagles now lead by 10 points. It's a tight tussle, low scoring. Every goal counts. A spearing kick from Matheson. Allen presents and takes the mark. We have one quarter left to play. Three quarter time. It's a tough battle here. Either side deserves to be in front. The Eagles have probably been slightly better at the two teams but haven't been able to make it count on the scoreboard. It's very, very tough kicking conditions. Kicking inside 50 is a nightmare. And that's why we've only seen seven goals to date. But the side who comes out victorious today will be the side that grinds until that final siren. Martin won the hit out. Has it now. Oh, here we go. A bit of space for the Lions. Off one step. Who was that? Jared Lyons. He's been a thorn in the side of many opposition teams throughout his stint at Brisbane. And that hurts the Eagles. Oh, I have miscued that badly. Elliot Yeo's been caught holding the ball. I don't know what I was doing. Wasn't concentrating on where the ball carrier was. Mitch Robinson has put it through. Brisbane lead by six points for the first time since the opening term. Oh, the fortuitous bounce doesn't help Jamie Cripps. I don't know what's going on there. But now we should get the ball back. Tim Kelly's taking an uncontested grab. Can he find Jamie Cripps? He can. Can he go for a run? He's going to. Don't know if he should have. Oh, there's a player free there. Doesn't quite... What happened there? I thought I took the mark. Oh, good grab there from McGovern. Needs to find someone short. He's got young Bailey Williams there. Can he take the grab? He can. This might rely on a torpedo for the ages. Tell you what, he's done all right. It's going to sail out of bounds. Damn, just quite, can't quite get a hold of that wind. A spearing kick. 
Marked by Dartini. Goes off the ground. Finding the loose ball with Cameron. Jared Cameron, don't tell me. He's put it through. He's going to be out on the full. That looked like a goal for all money. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Alice Yolman moves it now. It's picked up now. Allen dug it out. Oh, the Eagles can't quite get the free, the free shot on goal they need. It's a mad scramble here at the Gather. Uh-oh. Need to keep the ball in play. Stasovic, the youngster. A, good, a point will be as good as a goal at this late stage of the game. It would make it seven points. No, oh, he's nailed it. The youngster puts a nail in the Eagles' hearts. I've seen us Eagles win from tougher positions than this before, so I won't rule us out, but that is going to make it very tough. Oscar Allen's got to bring it to ground here. Oh, it's a high tackle. Dang it, yo. He's going to have a shot. Oh, she's going to go to the top. Tell you what, it's a good kick. It'll be a good time for a captain's goal. I reckon he's got it. Oh, he's missed the other way. That's agonizing. That is it. I didn't even hear the siren yet again. I never do. I didn't notice it. But wouldn't have mattered anyway for that goal because the Lions have won. The Eagles have scored one of their lowest scores ever. And that was a full-length game we played. Seven and a half minute quarters only registered the five goals. I just couldn't get it online any more accurate, and I probably would have won the game. But alas, it only it really matters, you know. It can make a big difference whether you uh, kick straight or not, whether it influence as to how it influences the game. I don't know. I'm talking shit here. What I'm trying to say is I was not very accurate today, and that was probably the difference between us winning and losing as we look at the inside 50s. Dominated there. Dominated in disposals, to be honest. So I can't claim too many wins other than hitouts. Um, overall, just a disappointing day. Matty Eagles was dominant in defense for them. Tim Kelly fought hard for us. At times, he played a lone hand. No multiple goal kickers for us. And we don't even register a brown low vote. Overall, though, it was telling three goals to one in that final term was the difference between the two sides and the Eagles lose by 11 points. So with two games to go in the 2020 AFL season, we still sit on top spot, a game clear, but we play the Collingwood Magpies. And if I think if we lose by 10 goals, we'll uh, get leapfrogged by them. But every win counts, obviously, as we said. And 15 and five, we probably need to be probably winning one more game to secure top two, which is probably my main goal. It would be nice to finish first, but I don't know if we necessarily will. We've got Collingwood at home, and we've got the Bulldogs away. I hope to see you guys join us for that clash against Collingwood next week, because that first game we played was a rip snorter. Pretty much lost with the final kick of the game. Hopefully, we don't have that same result. Hopefully, we have better fortunes in that next game, but I'll see you then for what should be an exciting top-of-the-ladder clash. Cheers, guys.